So I'm gonna show you guys my last three toolboxes that I bought uh, that were full of tools. This one was a Craftsman, Sears Craftsman. Um, a lady had listed this on Facebook Marketplace. I really, I mean, all she said was, you know, toolbox, great condition, 20 bucks. I really wanted it because of the toolbox itself. It looked like it was in really great shape, had the tray, all that good stuff. Um, so I was pretty pumped about this. And when I picked it up, she asked me for some help to get it out of her trunk, uh, that it was very heavy. And sure enough, it was loaded with tools. She failed to mention that, or I would have really been excited to get it. Uh, so I'll show you guys some of the stuff that came out of that. Uh, this one I just recently purchased at an estate sale. I was on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody, uh, Saturday night, somebody had put, hey, uh, we're wrapping up an estate sale tomorrow. Everything's 50% off. Uh, I saw this in the background of one of the photos. Uh, this is an old uh, Craftsman Rally. They kind of did a limited run of these. Uh, it's a super cool box with the wood faux, you know, drawers and top. Um, I really wanted the box and, you know, I messaged them. They wouldn't let me have it early, uh, but I was able to snag this for 20 bucks and it was loaded with American made, USA made tools. So I was really excited about that. Um, and then the last one is this one here. I recently just bought this. Uh, this guy actually goes to auctions. Um, he's specifically looking for Snap-on and Mac stuff. Um, he doesn't care about anything else and this was completely loaded. Uh, I mean filled. He had to help me get it to the car. It's extremely heavy. Um, and I don't know what kind of box it is. If anybody's looking at it and knows what this is, if you wouldn't mind just commenting below, I'd love to get your thoughts. Uh, I have no clue. Um, but anyway, uh, it was fully loaded and I did an unboxing video of this one that's on my Instagram and also uh, the Craftsman Rally box as well. So if you guys want to check those out. But some of the stuff that I've pulled out and now cleaned up by now, uh, a lot of squares, uh, wood levels, old wood levels, um, just a lot of really cool different stuff that I've happened to come up with, saw blades, things like that, uh, some old hammers. Probably the coolest so far uh, was this right here. And initially when I saw it, I just kind of saw this piece right here and I thought, well, that's a cool looking old knife. Uh, as you can see, it's absolutely not a knife. It's a bayonet. Um, and after a little bit of research, I did find out that this is probably a German issue, um, World War, you know, bayonet. Um, it was manufactured by Alex Koppel. And so probably manufactured in the late 1800s. So this was like really, really, really cool. Um, you know, and still working to do some research on that. But some of the, I, I've pulled tons of wrenches, pliers, um, you know, plum, crescent, I mean, you name it. Um, I've been able to pull some really awesome stuff out. Of course, getting them cleaned up, especially when they're really, really rusty and dirty, um, is really cool because sometimes you can't see the maker's mark or codes or anything like that until you get them cleaned up. And uh, shout out to Evaporust. You know, I've really started using their product a lot along with my vinegar video, you know, depending on what it is to, to get these, these cleaned up. But, um, I've got a ton of wrenches, guys. I pull these out constantly. You know, they're always loaded. Uh, and sometimes you can find some, some really cool stuff. Obviously, some of these old S wrenches, there's Urbrand stuff, Williams, uh, lots. I've pulled out a lot of Ford wrenches, especially those Model T wrenches. Uh, tons of Craftsman stuff. Um, here's some of the ratchets that I've pulled out, Plom, uh, a bunch of Craftsman stuff, some of the vintage Proto. Uh, ratchet wrenches, um, this Black Hawk, I recently posted that. That was pretty cool find. Uh, tons of breaker bars, um, some old, these I can't even believe uh, came out of the one of the smaller toolboxes down at the bottom. Uh, this Primo wrench was covered in rust. And so once getting that cleaned up, uh, that, was, that was really, really cool. And I recently redid this hand drill, uh, pulled that out. That came out really, really good. And I'll steal some wrench. Um, then I have pulled out more Craftsman wrenches than, than I can count. And here's some of the ones that I've cleaned up already that are kind of just in here trying to figure out <laughs> where I'm going to keep storing all this stuff. Um, and then a bunch of sockets, you know, most of it Craftsman. Um, you know, I have pulled out, you know, some other, other really, really big stuff. A lot of this, um, you know. Like I said, most of it is Craftsman stuff, so really, really good stuff. Um, here was a a uh, plum wrench that I pulled out uh, here recently. 
and again, more wrenches. This Husky set I pulled out uh, actually of one of the toolboxes and it looks like it was barely used. If I can get it open here. Um, this one I was pretty, pretty pumped about as well. Um, almost brand new and all the pieces were there. So that was pretty exciting. Um, a lot of what I, you know, here's, I'll just throw them in these bins until I can get them cleaned up and really, really go through them. Drill bits, uh, handles, I mean, you name it. Uh, some of the wrenches that I just posted recently that I was working on over the weekend. Um, this is a, uh, um, a, what is the name again? Walden Worcester. Uh, this is a World War II general maintenance tool. Uh, Ur brand. I've been able to find some really cool stuff. Uh, Bonnie wrenches. Uh, Blue Point Supreme. Um, where is this one here? Armstrong. Um, these two I actually pulled out of that rally, or actually all this right here, I pulled out of that rally craftsman. Uh, two Yankee screwdrivers came out. Um, these two Lufkin tapes, this ruler, um, this, uh, a lot of these you guys have seen on my, on my Instagram, uh, an old roofing hammer and this hatchet. Um, so I've been able to really find some cool stuff, guys. This is a ton of fun. Uh, one of the, here's a Merit, Merit tool, 15 inch. This thing is, is huge. Um, but yeah, most of the, most of the toolboxes I snag, they'll, I'll pull all this out, um, get it cleaned up, and it's just really, really incredible stuff. These two SK boxes, um, a lot of this stuff is Bonnie. Um, I found some Blackhawk stuff, which was really, really cool. Uh, some really old Craftsman stuff, Firestone, Plum. Um, these Blackhawk uh, sockets are, are really incredible from the 40s. Um, then it came with a lot of little stuff, you know, rulers, some old locks, uh, some feeler gauges, some product, I guess, that uh, whoever had it before used. Um, I got it cleaned up as much as I could. This toolbox was completely trashed. Um, there's an old Bonnie pipe cutter, um, files, an old drill, uh, tons of screwdrivers, all these old wood handle. Some of these are pretty good. It just really depends on, you know, once you get them cleaned up, you never know. Um, there's another, another SK box. This one's fighting me here. And I love these old metal boxes. They're so cool. You can use them for, for so many different things, but um, this is where a lot of the, the wrenches came out, but I'll usually go through them and see what's worth, you know, really going through, but, um, Anyways, if you guys see anything you can't live without, uh, give me a, give me a message. I'm not married to any of this, but um, you know, hopefully you guys get a little inspired to go out and chase some of this stuff. It, it's been pretty exciting and it's super fun, especially to get them cleaned up. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Follow me on Instagram at Rehab Furniture Lab. Check out my website rehabfurniturelab.com, um, and I will see you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll have a. Uh, I'm trying to do a video a week, so you guys check back. Uh, and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Talk to y'all soon.